everyone, what about here, and welcome to Lo-Fi Beats While Destroying Enemies. Now it's Rogue Command. Uh, it's a demo for a RTS deck builder roguelike, which sounds nothing short of incredible if done well. And it's got some really nice lo-fi music for whatever reason, and I've just been chilling out listening to it for quite some time. Anyway, I'm just gonna launch in, we'll just see what happens. Okay, this is your engineer. Only way to build buildings can be revived by drop pods. Generates two crystals per second. Cool. Got it. Did do, do, do thing? This is your refinery. You, okay, use your engineer to build one of these. Uh, do I have to build it here? No. Has to be outside. Okay, so I think the tutorial was like instant. Your engineer can now build Robo Marine factories. Your first run is starting now. Uh, okay. I They're throwing me off the deep end. Looks like this is very much based on the old, like, Command & Conquer and Red Alert games. I mean, especially with this barracks design. Must be. Not enough crystals. Well, I'll try and get a little bit more. I have no idea how to get more of these. I have no idea how the deck builder aspect works. Engineer can also build Robo Rush beacons. Have fun. Friendly units gain... Uh, in skill range, get Rush. Skill Rush Beacon, 8 MP. Summons another Robo Rush Beacon. Each beacon can spawn one. Get Rush. Increases movement speed by 50%. Okay. But I have to actually build those. I'm going to start exploring. It looks like there's only so much I can do at the moment. So we just want to get out here and start punching things if we can. Let's see. So is that. Mark grenade. Targets in radius get a bounty. Cool. Okay, let's just build more of those. Or, well, that was quick. I think I'm going to lose this fight, but that's okay. My goal is not to win. My goal is just to get more of these. Okay, how are we doing? Crystal supplies are kind of bad. I should probably expand out a little bit. We found the other base. But there's only so much we can do. Are these crystals infinite? I have no idea. And it looks like I can have up to, like, gobs of these things. I get the distinct feeling this is going to be either, like, actually pretty good. I This music is so weirdly chill. Okay. There we go. I wonder if I can repair things. I have no idea. Okay, we can get attacked on both sides though, so I'll keep that in mind. Looks like I'm just gonna get kinda mobbed on the regular, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and build up a horde and get out there. And then every once in a while I'll just try and up my crystal protect uh What is this? I have no idea. There we go, get in there. Pop a bounty. I've got plenty of MP, so I might as well just be using this freely. Looks like this this was easy enough. All right, back to just making more of these because I could keep developing, but also why? I've just got tons of these. Let's just grab what we can, see what happens. I'm hoping that this gets deeper as we go along. This first map was pretty basic, but I think that's just a matter of you know each little round has to be relatively quick. So, we've got three random... Okay, choose from three random cards in the full game. Oh, it won't let me choose the other ones. Dang. Okay. So, well, you know, Robo Recycler isn't terrible. Skill, Zombo Cores. Summons Robo Zombos from Robo Cores in target radius. I want this one just because, you know, heals Robos in range. Like, that seems really handy. But that's okay. Ooh. And Tick Walker. 15% chance to spawn a Spider Creeper. So this, wait, was that it? Or I got to check my deck. Okay, no, no, no. There's just, that's just the kind of in between. So now I have crystal refinery. Uh, I wonder if I can get multiple of these. They're very expensive though. And there's the Robo Recycler Barracks, which, okay, I'm gonna time focus for a bit. I want to take a look at these. So movement speed is 10. Sight range is 5. Attack damage or range is 3. 
versus these things. So these things are slower, tougher, and have more energy. I don't know. Let's go for the Robo Recyclers. They don't have the bounty bonus, but I'm going to just assume that they're not actually immediately as necessary. Alright, there we go. I know I, for one, do appreciate the fact that they're they're using a lot of, like, familiar Red Alert style, uh, I guess, motifs here. Oh, they are more expensive. That is the one issue. Eh, it's probably fine. They make more of themselves, so hopefully we can just get a nice robo-zombie army. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? I would love to see somebody take, like, Planetary Annihilation or Subcom and really try and build... Uh, roguelike RTS off of that. Maybe. Let's kind of alternate. We're going to need more of an income here. But if I wait too long, I get crushed. I don't have any defensive structures that I can rely on. And the Robo Rush Beacon is not particularly impactful. Ah. Okay, I got to build more refineries if I want to get more of those. I might want to actually get the, the regular Robo Marine Barracks as well. Once I have enough crystals. Bit of both. Yeah, let's do it. Because these these suckers are twice as expensive, which is... Ugh. Explosion like that freaks me out a little bit. Well, they seem... Somewhat functional. That bonus HP really does go quite a, quite a fair ways. Okay, let's just get a small army. I don't know how to get the robo cores. Is the one issue. Yeah, from robo cores, but I didn't. I didn't see any. I'm just gonna kind of kind of hang here. It looks like I outranged them, or maybe I have a line of sight bonus from being up high. But I can kind of just deplete him with just overwhelming firepower from on high. 500 if I want to get that. Oof. Take a look around. What else do we have? Oh, good. We don't have to worry about protecting anything save for that singular ramp. So I can just kind of hang out in turtle as long as I want to. Which really probably don't need to do. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't... Oh. They're having issues. <laughs> okay. Here, let's just tell these guys to go down. I'm probably just going to go back to these. As much as I like the idea of these robo-zombies, I don't actually know how to get them... Are there control groups? There are control groups. Okay, that's good. I don't actually know how to get... Uh, I don't see robo-cores is the issue. Unless it unless it only works for my own dead and nothing more. What is this thing? I have no idea. Well, they seem to be kind of coming from this general direction. I'm just going to build a ton of these guys for the moment. Worst comes to worst, they'll just attack my base. I'm just going to look around. Huh. So I can destroy the terrain, but I don't know what it does for me. Okay. My robots drop cores when they die. Okay. So that would explain quite a lot. And this is the mass wave that I was actually hoping to avoid. Though flip side, they seem to get easily distracted. Get them, boys. Okay, we're good. I'll go back to just making a ton of things. Yeah, okay, so the robo-zombies are actually pretty good. I just have to make sure that I'm... I'm only, uh, well, I have to specifically resurrect my own units. 
15 minutes to destroy an the enemy. Gotcha. Can I just grab crystals off of these? Cool. Get them, zombies. Yeah, they'll just meat wall for me. It'd be nice if I could specifically... Ooh. He's got defensive dudes. It'd be nice if I could specifically... Uh, that, 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 that. What was I going to say? Oh, right. Get cores off of my like my enemies. But I realized that that would be intensely busted. And so I can totally understand why they wouldn't have that feature. Also, the necromancers are, like, shockingly tough. Get some more zombos. Okay, back here. Probably pause for a bit. Because, yeah, I should just be building tons of these. Yeah, being able to pause whenever I want is actually pretty big. I, oh gosh, I was replaying Red Alert 1 with their, their remake remaster. I guess it was more of like a remaster. I didn't really remake anything. I definitely remember being uh, overwhelmed in a way that I didn't remember being overwhelmed as a kid. I think as a kid I just accepted everything as normal. And now that I'm older and have been spoiled by a lot of other quality of life improvements, it's just kind of like, oh, right. These games were actually really hard. I think as a kid, there was no expectation for victory. I was just there to mess around and try and win. And nowadays, I know I can win. And it's frustrating when I have trouble. Okay, let's take, take the secondary army. Oh, I think we're good. Okay, we get a card or an upgrade? I guess we get both. So, Robo Micro, extra damage against targets with bounty, which I should probably use. And gives vampirism. Heals itself for 50% of the damage. Upgrades improve a card for the rest of the run. Choose one in a... Oh. Factory receives permanent turbo. Makes things faster. Or bounty hunter. Kill generate 15 crystals. So do I want money or units that don't die much? I like the idea of units that don't die much. I also like the idea of Bounty Hunter. I'm going to go Vampirism, and I'm going to give it to the Robo Recycler. Okay. Looks like we have another level. Oh yeah, in the full game you'll be able to choose your path between levels. Rest sites, different enemies, secrets, or visit the shop to buy upgrades. Okay. This is, this is selling me. It took a little bit just to get used to it. But now that I'm getting into it, it makes a lot more sense. Robo Micro, Robo Recycler, Robo Marine. Huh. Oh, the bounty. I see. The Bounty Hunter upgrade didn't. wasn't specifically for a Bounty Hunter unit. It was just more generalized. Okay, this is a bit of a doozy. Let's get two of those. And then I might as well start making Robo Recyclers just because they're the ones that, um,. Uh, they're the ones with the vampirism, which means they die much slower. Okay, and like I said, I kind of want to alternate until the refinery is maxed out. I really dig the music on this. It's very zen. Maybe a little too zen. Was well, okay. Select the engineers, select all the things. Yeah, we're good. I think with just these guys, I'll be fine for a moment. I'm going to get attacked from any angle, which is going to be a bit of a doozy, but that's okay. But let's let's get the refinery maxed out, and then we start spitting units. Let's see. I have five, though. No, I'm maxed out. Okay. That's rude. Okay. So we need a lot of these. They've got bombers. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, base defensive units. Ow. Okay, so the Robo Micros are hilarious. However, I, I like the potential of what I can maybe do with them. 
because they're dirt cheap. 15 a pop. Oh, this is crazy obnoxious. Okay, just got just got to get tons of these. Let's put them up here. Because they seem to be attacking from this specific ramp. Okay, so I'm going to put these guys here. I'm going to put the micros. And I'm just going to have like a cloud of them down below. My, my theory is I might be able to get cores off the little guys. And so it doesn't really matter if these things die. Yep, I get cores if they die. Beautiful. Yeah, so we want to just have a cloud. I'm going to let these cores pile up too. And then we'll get a nice little zombie horde going. Here. I'm actually, I'm going to do something slightly sillier. I'm only going to have one of these guys down at a time. Because when the bombers come down, what I'd rather have them do is get stuck on like one dude and nothing more. They don't have a huge AoE. And like, it's obnoxious. Okay. Get in there. Let's get a killin'. I think this is generally generally enough. Uh, let's see. Can I do control group? Yeah. Can you do these as a control group? I can. Perfect. This is rebuild. Okay. This is going to be my base army. We've got zombies who will very gladly tank hits and are pretty damn tough. And then a bunch of little Dinkins that will eat the hits. Wow, some of these look really neat. Oh, those are just fauna. Okay, there's so many. What the hell? This is actually really silly. I gotta get rid of that cannon. Okay, let's go back to group two. There we go. Need more crystals. Yeah, we do a decent chunk of damage. And the healing is going reasonably well. Okay, there goes the cannon. Uh... I don't know, do we... Do we have these guys? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just try and zombie horde. We're gonna hit some structures. That didn't work. This is rough. And yeah, I really should probably get some more refineries rather than just the ones that I currently have. Good lord, those bombers. I mean, if I can just make some headway here. I'll be okay. I have no idea what this thing is. A crystal silo, it looks like. And they're definitely coming from down here. I just... I don't do enough damage. I need more of the... I need more of my necromancers. Well, it's okay. I'm just gonna kind of chill. Same deal as last time. Just a bunch of little guys. 
and then a ton of necros. I did a little bit, but I did not do enough. But we have we have some cores that I can potentially rely on. Yeah, I cannot tell if this field ever depletes or if I effectively have unlimited resources while we're here. On the flip side, they seem to have kind of slowed down for some reason. It's actually a little bit of a concern. I don't have that much time either. Do we want to get out here? Look around a bit. I should. I could potentially get a crystal refinery up here. I don't know if it would be the most sane. I don't know why you stopped coming at me either. Okay, do we? Yeah, we could we could use some more crystal income. I'm just gonna put it up there. Luckily I can build things at a range. That part's kinda nice. Okay, that'll give me a little bit more. There we go. As long as nothing starts bombing this area, we're golden. And if they do, well then, it's an expensive write-off, but then we know. What did they... I think just give up. Unless me breaking their silos somehow actually broke them a lot harder. More, more than likely, it's a pathing issue. Let's just, let's just get enough so we have two full refineries. Double my income and get back out there. Okay. Yeah, those slowing tanks are terrifying. And these things have so much range. Where? Oh, so they are. Well, you know what? It was an expensive venture, but it distracted them thoroughly. Okay, let's get back up here. If I can break whatever is summoning those, I'll be the happiest camper. All oh, the robo cores do disappear. Just they have so many. They have so many, man. Let's see. There we go. At least we're destroying some things, but the fact that these things just spit out endlessly, this is the one problem I do have with a lot of um uh I do have with a substantial amount of RTSs is that the AI cheats. Uh, I'm not necessarily like against the idea of the AI getting advantages, but the fact that they can just endlessly output just gobs of units, especially uh, suicide bombers, is a little off-putting. Especially because these guys can't get closer. And, like, they're having major pathing problems, so the ones in front are all shooting, the ones behind can't get close enough to actually fire. Again, it's minor things. It's also been, like, very much the case in every single CRPG in, like, forever. There we go. Got that one down. Yeah, go figure. They're just shitting things out. They have how many factories? I'm regretting the little peewee bots a little bit. But still, I will say I'm not quite sure about this whole deck builder business. There's a deck, but it's it's not really a deck builder. You know, there's no hand draw or energy management beyond just resources. 
Can this thing die? It can, just very slowly. But it seems like the easiest solution is just to have so many necrobots with overwhelming firepower that none of the uh none of the bombers can just reach me. Which means I probably should have brought the uh the regular gunners along. Especially for the bounty crystals. But, I mean, I don't know. I learned. I was really hoping I could just summon gobs of zombies. And I can. But it's not quite the same. There we go. I think I found their, their base. I think that's their... I think that's their factory. It's hard to tell. There we go. Get them, zombies. They're tough enough. I think these slowing tanks, these things... Oh, wait, no. Decel decelerator factories. These are the decelerators. I wonder if my enemies specifically don't... Um, I don't know if they rebuild. They might not. Well, either way, that was the end of their factories. So we get a hack and a card. I don't know what a hack is. Ooh, machine gun turret. 50% chance to drop a Robocore. Well, I like defenses. Choose a hack. Hacks are global effects that last for the rest of the run. Death. So whenever a unit dies, it has a chance to spawn a spider creeper. Turrets get an extra... I like the spider mirror. Oh, wait, no. Entities that get spawned by other units or buildings. 30% chance to spawn a spider creeper. One way or another, this feels like it's either going to be really useful. Stationary advantage sounds interesting, but I like the idea of spider mirror. Okay, here we go. Definitely seems like a great map for me to have two refineries on. One thing is I don't want my refinery to be right next to an entrance. Can I rotate these? No, probably not. I don't know what that plant is. Seems interesting though. Like I said, the music here actually has like a lot of a lot of merit to it. Uh no, let's get all of these down. And then we'll want to get some robo recyclers. Or maybe just the machine gun turrets. And they got they got range. Because my usual trick for these games is to go kind of turtle at first and then hit him with overwhelming firepower. That usually seems to work. I'll get one of these down for now, just here. Hopefully it's line of sight will kind of tell me if anything's coming this direction. And maybe plink away at them. And then kind of same deal over here. Okay. I guess I'm going to go out and explore very briefly. Because I know you can find crystals. I want to see what these plants do. No, it doesn't seem like they do anything. Much to my... Chagrin? Is it chagrin? I guess. Okay. Well, we also know where they're coming from. Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. You suck. Okay. Get this down. I don't know if there's a way for me to repair. Well, that just... That's unfortunate. Okay. Looks like we're good now. But it has to come down at least a little bit to be able to hit this guy. Do they... It looks like it healed a bit. Or maybe it didn't. I, I don't know. Either way, pile defense is right here. 
and just shred things as it comes. I... I mildly dislike this. Is it a location? It's a location. Okay. Looks like we're good there. The turrets are kind of what we need. But what I really want is another refinery. I'm just gonna put these guys... Can they not... They can't scoot through anymore. I may or may not have blocked my dudes off. So, question once again. Doesn't seem like they repair. No. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hold off so I can get a second refinery. I'll put it over here. Because if I can get a second refinery, then we can um then we can get gobs. There we go. And these turrets seem to have more than enough range to just wreck business. Other big benefit? I... Okay. This is a problem. I need something with long range. The fact that these things can just burn me down from this distance... Uh, it's fine. Get him, Zomboni. If they have to get close enough that my turrets can fire back at them, we're good. It's just, the meantime is unkind. I don't. Uh, get a Robo Micro ba Barracks out here. I don't have enough space to get more of this. I'm just gonna have an unassociated cloud of little guys to charge. And then, a, hopefully a couple of recyclers that can actually do their job. The problem is I tell them to, you know... This is not working. Pause for a second. I mean, nice part is I have gobs of money. There we go. I say I have gobs of money. I'm definitely in trouble. I have to get a presence out here. I'm in trouble otherwise. Okay, you guys are going to be two. Wait, what? No. You guys are going to be two. Okay. And just get an army out. It's not much of one, nor is it great. But I gotta go put some holes in. Those really long-range laser things are going to merc me. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna have these guys go here. Just force them to consider my turrets. Yeah, if I can surround them, we're golden. 
Oh, this is obnoxious. However, he might lead us back. And if I can find his defense... Oh, my God. That's a lot of enemies. Okay. Engineer, I'm going to go out here. We're going to get the basic robo barracks. Plus, maybe, like, a gun. Let's see. Can't get it there. I'm just going to get more robo turrets down. They're cheap enough, and I've got plenty. Okay. And we're just going to need numbers. I'm just going to have to rely on them because there's there's no way I'm getting through that otherwise. I mean, there's a couple other things I can do, like potentially having my engineer come along and put down turrets all over the place. Which I, I very much like could do and maybe should do. But I, I need... I need a siege engine of my own. Let's just, like I said, get a cloud. If I have a hundred, maybe we'll be okay. Also, these guys build really quickly. So I, th I think we'll be fine. I just got to charge him and torch him. It does seem like they've slowed down coming at me. And I can't tell you why. Means I should probably get in there and boogie, though. But I got so much income. I mean, otherwise... Yeah. Maybe get a, a couple more vampires just because they're that much tougher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the? That was weird. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take everybody out. You're group one. You're group three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the engineer with me. Oh, I guess I don't have to have that group three. Here we go, one way or another. Oh. That ain't it. I hate those things. Okay. Keep going. Keep the zombies with them. I almost wish the zombies would leash. Okay. There we go. Now, I am the one with the overwhelming fire firepower, kind of, sort of, not really. All of that range. Oh, refinery is too far. That's good to know. Okay. Well, having the zombie cloud is a massive carry. Because they're very tough. bounty. Summon Zombo. And to some degree, the most practical thing for me to do probably still kill their defenses. But I think I'm actually just going to destroy this if I can. I don't do enough damage. 
it also seems like, once again, my units have developed massive pathing problems. Get him. There we go. Actually, I think the real answer is just I need zombies. That, assuming I can get the zombies down, nothing can stop me. I think giving these things vampirism is actually a mistake. I kind of wish that the the zombies got to keep their vampirism. Okay, I do not have enough time to chill too hard here. I wonder, there is a refinery here. I'm going to have this guy set up a refinery in the back. One, charge. Okay, group one, attack. Till day, we want to do a refinery here. Attack. Reason being... Yeah, there we go. Refinery is still too far. However, I can potentially get another one down. I just have to make sure I don't take any damage here. Okay. Summon some more Zambonis. Do that. Summon some more. Keep attacking. Except for you. Your goal is to get another refinery down. There we go. You gotta be careful with the engineers. The lack of repair is a little tough. However, it only matters so much. There we go. This is how you photon rush. Admittedly, I was kind of slow about this whole process, but yeah, once once I got these turrets on location, everything else folds. And yeah, I can just keep putting these down wherever. Uh, let's see. There we go. You guys got to get in here. There we go. Got it. Whew. I need something with some long range or I'm in trouble. Or we have this thing, Robotronicon, Unit Spawner Robo, Skill Eliteify, dies and summons an Elite Bot. Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. I mean, it sounds fun. And Fighting Rush or... Honestly, let's just go for Stationary Advantage, because I don't have any other chances here. I look forward to being able to actually choose things. Because I think that's going to open this game up in a big way. Alright, do we do one more level? Maybe. I kind of want to go until I'm done, but I, I have no idea how long a run is. Oh boy. And we can actually see where they are. Uh, let's just get these. I'm curious if it's a better idea to have more refineries or less. I'm also curious what kind of units they're going to be sending against me. I definitely am looking forward to having kind of intention with how I handle my defenses. I'm just going to put that there for the time being.
I guess the real trick would probably be just get one refinery down and b start building one guy, but save for the next refinery. <laughs> no. Okay, we're we're at refinery cap. Yeah, we have the Robotronicon factory, but shit, that's expensive. It's probably just gonna recycle our barracks. That's the invalid location. Do we just slap it here? Or do we just... My turrets are strong enough. Let's save for the next refinery. Because honestly, if I have like four of them, I become unstoppable anyway. Especially if I can get a bunch of Robotronicons. Okay. Oh, the one problem is they do end up taking up population. Yeah, I'm gonna wager. More than likely, they're gonna be attacking from this side. Probably just gonna tank up this area. And if they don't attack from this side, then, well, panic. that building because yeah I gotta get my econ up but it looks like I've got about 20 minutes per map eh, that's fair let's see do we start with the robo recycler no let's just get the last of those then we start getting the robo recyclers which they're slow as heck I'll just put it here. Hope I don't get attacked from down this direction. Okay. We know where they're coming from. And yeah, if... If this is as far as they can go, I, I think I'm going to have my turrets just piled in here just kind of as an impassable gun wall just hope we don't have to worry about too many of those shitty laser dudes I mean it's not impassable but it's comparatively less passable okay let's just start getting these things here I think I might skip the, the mini bots. They just die too damn fast. Under we'll just go for a regular barracks. Okay, this is validating so far. They're hurting they're hitting my turrets a little bit, but only a smidge. Okay. They're gonna be group two. Yeah, let's just go until we run out. We should Probably also start saving for another refinery. Because I don't I don't think these crystals like ever run low. The big issue is that I run out of people. But maybe that's fine. And I think we also want to grab uh grab some Robotronicons just as a um Turret under attack. Just as kind of my my big punchers, which that's going to take some money. Uh, let's get that one down there. I'll probably want to find some other refinery locations. Maybe? Because... Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Got distracted. I'm just gonna put those there. Okay. You maxed out, you are. Yeah, those suckers do damage, but not too much. As long as we don't get hit by too many of the big mechs all at once. Never mind. Here they come. Turret under attack. 
There we go. Let's just have them be here. Ow. I suspect I shouldn't have done that. Wow. This sucks. Yeah, I said as long as I don't have to fight too many of the mechs all at once, I think I'll be fine. And then... That happened. I just, they're so tanky. Valid location. Uh, well, I built an army, and then they destroyed it. I think the answer is Tronicons. There's nothing else for it that I can do. I just have to make sure they don't nuke my engineer. Because unfortunately, my engineer does not heal. like three layers and then back off. I'll just have to come out this way. I could also go out the northern exit, but I, I don't know. Okay. Not enough crystals. Yeah, we'll just have to chew them down one by one. It looks like they don't have anything that is longer range than me, which is a relief. Okay. Just start building those. I I think it's my my big punchers are just gonna have to carry me slowly. I think honestly, what I might even want to do is just hold out until um like hold out kind of until towards the end. Oh. How much HP do these Robo Marines have? Eh. Now, did that eat the other Robo Tronicon? No, it did not. And how beefy are you? Reasonably. And frankly, I should just be building a bunch of the smaller ones. Okay, Robotronicon. Die summons an elite bot. Ah. Wait. View card. When summoned... Yeah, so it just adds their AP to itself. It's not like it, it actually ends up doing more damage. However... How much HP does a zombie have? Okay, this is kind of useful. I can eat the zombies. I could also potentially use the Tronicons. There we go. I just... Why? Okay. So let's keep having these things eat zombies. Because that gives them the most amount of HP. Okay, fog missile. Cripes. How much manpower am I at? Because here's the other option I'm thinking of. No! I'm just gonna lose my engineer. Okay. I'm just gonna start making gobs of these. 
I should probably go for the zombies, but honestly... I, th I think at this point my best, best bet is just to go. I'm just going to keep getting mobbed. I don't foresee myself doing particularly well. But I do have a lot of really big punchers that I've just kind of collected. Okay, let's just keep going. I don't know where the big guys are coming from. Wow. Okay, you are group one. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so that slowing fog is actually, like, primo. Get in there. Unfortunately, the slowing fog kind of worked against me here. But maybe I'll be okay. I mean, my big guy's ain't dying. I did give them a lot of HP. And yeah, if I can if I can even just take out one of these factory bases, my life gets a lot easier. do that. Eh, reasonably decent. Let's just send in the reinforcements before these guys are dead. Keep the pressure. I didn't see any factories come out of this, though. Is the one downside. But I do have the ability to summon at least some friends. Okay, they came from up here. Or are coming from up here. I want to find their base. The production stuff. Not the stuff that I know about. The everything else. Okay. Is that supposed to be like a yes, sir? That might be. Right, one way or another. Decent spot. I'm trying very hard to decide whether or not I want to be... Let's see. I guess that didn't work. Really curious about those slowing missiles. And they seem to do damage. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I unfortunately cannot tell which one of these are spawning the big mechs. Oh, that's okay. Should be in a decent spot. Okay, amount of resources. I really should be mostly spawning the basic marines and nothing more. Okay, let's just focus this. Yeah, that time limit might be what screws me over a little bit. Keep hitting that. Because once again, if I can take out their factories, we're golden. Planetary core extractor, and there's the mech. Mech foundry. Uh, 
Okay. I'm just gonna keep building tons of these. I just don't think it'll be enough. Is the issue. Like, get him, boys. I believe in you. Except for you. Not you. I mean, it got me tons of cores. But yeah, four, four minutes. I just... Uh, the big issue boils down to, for the most part... Uh, holy shit, my enemies are... Very good at, uh... Just spamming relentless amounts of dudes. And I am very much locked to econ limitations and some other things. And also just building speed. Like, look at this. You know, I can barely get my people back. And what I should have been doing was microing the entire time. But even then, like, how? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think there's a lot of promise here. I think there's a lot that needs to be done to make this more viable. Uh, the biggest issue is, once again, the AI might cheat too much. Uh, and that makes for kind of rough gameplay. And who knows, maybe this, this positive murder horde is going to be enough. I'm not betting on it, though. I probably should have been building more refineries. What are these things? Oh, it's a Healy Orb. Get in there, boys. And it's this thing. This thing needs to die. If I can take that out, then I have so much less to worry about. Might even be able to form a proper response. And who knows? I might have even just depleted everything that he's got. Because, yeah, if he doesn't get any more of those mecha, then it doesn't. then nothing matters. Oh, come on. Okay. Kill this. I might pull it off. Here, let's kill any production structures he has in the area. Because if he can summon no more units, then he can provide no more defense. Okay. And then this needs to die. Hopefully this is this is their main refinery and we win. Whew! And plus one health dropped? I have no idea what that means. We got it. I won! You can play the demo in hardcore mode for a higher challenge. I think I will wait, honestly. When it comes down to it, I want to be able to pick my path. Once I can do that, things get so much more interesting. I like the I like a lot of the aspects here. I like the fact that it is an RTS, a simplified RTS, but with the with a greater variety of like interesting units and their kind of own interplay. I like the upgrading system. I like the weird abilities. It feels like you can potentially build towards a build, just not the demo. Because, yeah, being able, uh, being unable to pick between the three other paths. And to some degree, I kind of wish, for this demo at least, maybe they opened it up a little bit more. But maybe that's just me wanting to play more of it. Either way, it's got a lot of promise. And I can't wait to see more, especially as an old Command & Conquer fan. I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. That's the other thing. It feels a little too close for me. But maybe that's just because I haven't played, you know, old, uh, I guess the original games anytime recently. I always felt like it was very zoomed out, but that might have just been me as a child being small. Who knows? 
either way, with all of that said, Rogue Command is available to download and play as part of the... Is it just part of this Steam Fest? Oh, no, no. It's just available to download and play now. It's not out. This is just a demo. The uh, the full game is going to be coming out in early access. Well, full game. The game is going to be coming out in early access sometime later on uh, in 2022. And from what I've seen, like, there's a lot of promise here. And I hopefully they take it all the way. It, they've got a solid base. And, yeah, I'm looking at shops, for example, here. I'm just going to throw display capture on. So you can buy incendiary ammo and damage boosts and some other things. Like, it very much seems like there's a lot of mechanics I have, any, I have not even touched yet. And that's exciting. I mean, that's a lot of money, but they might have hacked that in. We will see. But, with all of that said, uh, you guys can download this yourselves, play it, maybe find some new things. Because, like, Headhunter seems neat. Vamp Walker. Yeah. Robo Bomb. I think it's cheap enough maybe target gets bounty only hits enemies oh but i really want the sniper maybe probably all right anyway with all of that said if you guys like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day hit subscribe because i've got tons of them to check out and a lot of them are real bangers too this year i the indie industry is nothing but uh i mean some really fantastic releases on the horizon, and I can't wait for them to come out. But until then, I got a lot of other games to check out in the meantime, and some of them just as fantastic. So stick around, hit subscribe, and we'll see what I find. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.